President Larry Lassisi, who is live at the State House venue of that summit. Well, Larry, all eyes as expected uh, on that venue, but more importantly, on the leaders of ECOWAS who will be meeting any moment from now to make a decision on the next move. But we understand that that meeting is yet to begin. Can you give us uh, just the atmosphere there and perhaps what to expect? Okay, Coyote, thanks. Um, well, we're here at the uh, Villa Conference Hall where the meeting, the session is built to take place. And I can tell you here is filled and um, I can inform you reliably that we have about 10 presidents, I'm told, have arrived already, but they're not in the hall at this time. Um, as I'm sure you're aware, the last meeting that held here two weeks ago, the protocol they, they followed was that after they arrived, they had the meeting in closed door where they uh, kind of ironed out everything, discussed the issues, then came into the hall where they now read the communique. So right now we're in the hall. Um, we have dignitaries here, government, top government officials from across ECOWAS. We have um, diplomatic, um, members of the diplomatic corps uh, who are also here to witness the proceeding. Um, I can tell you that we have here who someone that was not here the last time this meeting held and that's the chief of defense staff of nigeria he's in this meeting and i'm sure you will find that relevant because of the um, military option that had been put on the table as one of the options that could be taken if the situation in niger is not resolved but as i i can tell you right here we're set we're waiting and all we're waiting for now is for the heads of governments and the president to come out and let the meeting comment uh, larry just one more thing uh, what is the atmosphere like really do, do you get a sense that there's some tension in the air i know there's also diplomacy so you might not be able to see through those smiles but what is the atmosphere like and do we have a time on when this will begin well, um, the atmosphere here from our end is expectant. We obviously know that today something has to give. Uh, the deadline elapsed, elapsed on Sunday, and there are people that are saying what ECHO is going to do after coming out with such a strong stance of what will be done if their ultimatum is not taken. Now. I can tell you for my own part, I, I'm happy you mentioned the diplomatic part of it, but a lot of people are just sitting here waiting. The decision will be made inside. The anticipation is what will be said, what will be resolved, and what the next step will be. For some of us who are here, we find it significant, the presence of the Chief of Defense Staff, and um, we're waiting to see what role he plays and how he will impact is he going to brief the um the body the block is he going to also maybe be given instructions to take back to um the the block you know they met the uh, chief of defense staffs of ECOWAS states met sometime last week also to you know consider their options i'm sure so a lot to wonder a lot to uh, consider and uh, we'll, but we'll just have to wait and Indeed. see what the resolution is uh, thank you very much larry of course uh, we'll be back with you as soon as anything breaks thank you for that update our correspondent larry lassisi live there at the state house uh, conference hall venue of that emergency summit of ECOWAS leaders. He's given us the update. Ten presidents are around, and of course, Nigeria's chief of defense staff is also there.